YouTube. Today we're going to disassemble the InMotion V11 and check all of the connections because it won't turn on. Basically getting right into the control board, make sure all the batteries and everything's hooked up. So yes. Here we go. So first thing we have to do is remove these two screws. While she's getting those, I'm going to remove these, uh, whatever they are, these little covers. Valve caps. Valve cap. And these, you need a um, three centimeter thingy metric Allen key. Allen. Right. No, I was thinking about it. Okay, next. There are screws that connect the saddle cover to the handle, and these ones After that, this comes sliding off. Put that on the, uh, the table. Parts table. Then we're going to flip the unicycle over. And it's a pain in the neck because it won't turn on, so we can't have any wheel assist, assist stuff. Um, and we're going to take out. Doesn't this thing slide off? No, because these are attached to it. Oh. And we're going to take out these two screws. And these ones are easy. These two. This will just slide right off. Okay, what's next? Next, we have to take off the pedals. Okay, so is that just these six? Yes, and it's these six screws right here. Mm -hmm. The screws closest to the pedal are a huge pain in the neck to take out because the Allen key And then the pedal just comes Doesn't, right off. Then you flip it over. And the pedals are actually very good quality, very heavy. Yeah, they are nice, huh? These are really nice pedals. The grip tape kind of sucks. It's not very grippy. You can always replace it with something else. But unlike the S18, it actually stays on the pedal. Stuff. I always thought the one of those was pretty, pretty well engineered. So that's the pedal. Okay. You see, it's got the little, uh, little, hole the little bushing suspension. there that slides up and down. Yep. Okay. The next step, this thing comes out. So we have to undo these screws right here. Once again, the, uh, the four numbers. Yes. Okay. Okay. Next thing, you take this and undo the valve caps because the valve caps are in there kind of tight and it's annoying. <laughs> it took me like an hour yesterday to get the valve caps off because what happens is the this thing was spinning like it's just a big air valve and the air valve was spinning freely. Um and it Why does this valve cap look different than the same one? Huh? Because there's two parts to it. Oh, okay. And then there's a little ring. I don't know what that shows, but there is well, a, a, um, a spacer. No, it's a, uh, what do you call it? Unlock it. Unlock it. Unlock it. Okay. Now we, have Unlock to, washer. now we have to flip it over and do the exact same thing. 
Next up, this thing comes. Out. Oh wait, you have to take um. There's like this little rubber thingy. And the shirt. Okay. So this grommet was pulled out. Yeah. And, and then there's these connectors right here, and you just have to um. Undo the, the connectors. Do you have to push one side? Yeah. You just, just push. It. You just push both sides, and it and comes up. Comes and up. then this should be it on. And this is the actual suspension thingy, I think. Okay, so what's next? Then you have to um, get a wrench, and there's these things right here, and you have to undo those. Oh, those big ones? Uh huh. So we're going to get a socket to make our life a little easier. What size socket were you using? Uh, uh, Oh, this is a USA one. Never mind. No, no, that's what we use this year. No, because it's these are metric. No, trust me, that's what we use this year. And so that you just loosen it, and then it comes right off. So we didn't have a metric one this big, but this uh, USA one. Let's see, see the size on this one. One inch. One inch will work, no problem. And then you unscrew this all the way. And it takes a while, and then you take off the suspension air chamber. Yep. Next thing that happens is the shell comes off. So these. That's just, that's just life. Yeah, and then we All have right. to take off these screws right here. Or um, no, 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 not these ones. These ones. These two. Okay, so do we need to take these off to get to this? Yeah. You sure? Well, the connection goes from this one to this. Well, you know, we can we we can start by just taking apart. We have to take apart this circuit, uh, not the circuit board. We have to get into this before we're able to do the other stuff. Okay, so just a uh, regular Phillips on this, right? Yep. Not flathead, no. Okay, so let's get another, uh, let's get another little, what's our little, can you grab the, uh, the magnetic one there? Yep. Yeah, thanks. And hopefully we can fix this, because it would be nice to have a long range one. For a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we've got four screws here that we're doing. Uh-huh. And is that is that is that coming off? Yep. What? It it locks into this, but it, no, you can take it off. It just it stops. Okay. Yeah. Then these are the wires. And then we have to unscrew this. So I'm not sure why that would have to come off, son. What? This piece that we just took off. Because there's clips right here. And this thing blocks the clips. Yeah, but we don't need access to those clips. I think that was unnecessary step. Well, that's what the video is coming out of here, right? Yeah, but the video was a total disassembly, right? Yeah. Okay. Tiny baby itty bitty screws. Not big of them. Super scared of stripping out. But. Okay, now we have to flip it over and do it up or not.
They're just oh, they're, skin. they're really hard to take out. Alright. Okay. Oh wait, let me move this. That's important. Okay. So we're we're gonna pull this out, but you know what? If this doesn't need to come out, then those shelves could have stayed on. And let's try to do it without that. Uh, let's just go right for it. No, but we have to like pull the wires back and the clips. That will be on the way of pulling the wires back. Or let's not. Take a look. Okay. Or not. Because <laughs> this, this could have been a really fast. Wait. No, it didn't there? No, I loosened it. I'm tightening it back up. Okay. This would have been a lot faster if we didn't have to remove the shell. The shell didn't take that long. So we would have to pull these off, right? Yeah, we would have to take off. So that would be just step step one. We would have to take off all the suspension stuff too. Because it's easier to reach when it's like... Oh yeah, yeah. okay. So you oh, that's not good. What? we got blinky lighties. No, that's supposed to happen. That was how it was yesterday when I had Yeah, blinky lighties? Yeah. You're kidding me. Why? Well, that means the board's working. 